car, I guess it's a, a big game. Um, probably as big an occasion as, as well, aside from the finals, you know, a bit of regular season game as you guys have been involved in coming up this week. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of it? Yeah, I mean, every game's a must win in this short format, I suppose, of the competition of AFLW. But yeah, halfway through, four and zips, obviously a fantastic start for us. But uh, to get the win on the weekend will really set up the second half of the season for us. So yeah, we've, we've had some narrow wins, which we know and we've addressed over the last couple of weeks. So really looking forward to putting some uh, things in practice against Brisbane this weekend. One thing you've been able to do, I guess, is sort of score against the flow of play in, in a mm. lot of games. I guess that must be pleasing in some respects, but I'm sure you'd be like to be scoring with the flow of play, I guess. Oh, absolutely. You need to take your opportunities, I suppose, as much as you can when you go inside forward 50. And I think what I'm really proud of is, is the resilience and the mindset of all the players that um, when we think we're down and out, we're actually not. And we can continue to grind out games and plug away and, and hit the scoreboard when needed, which is obviously what showed uh, last weekend against St Kilda. Harry, you probably slipped under the radar at the start. I rated you very well. Even <laughs> Thanks, some, people, some people not so much. Um, do you think you're proving a few people wrong already? Oh, yes and no. To be honest, we don't listen to any outside, uh, outside noise. Um, you know, we've got to focus on what, the old cliche, but we focus on what we're, we're doing within the full walls of the football club. And um, I actually liked people not speaking about us. And, you know, there's still those that are probably writing us off, which is, which is fine. We'll continue to work away at what we're doing and, and continue to hopefully get some wins on the board and set up our second half of the season. Do you think a win over another undefeated team, that'll definitely make people take notice? Oh, de something? yeah, definitely. And, and Brisbane, yeah, had obviously a draw, but they haven't dropped a game, really. Uh, so, yeah, they're an, informed, they're, they're an informed team as well. So it'll be a really good challenge for us, and we're really excited to take on a team that's, you know, in a similar position to us, obviously across conference game, but still, obviously, very much as important to us as it is to Brisbane. In fact, the last couple of weeks you've been finding a way to win. Um, I guess that gives you a lot of belief as well. Definitely, and as mentioned before, I think what I'm really proud of is the girls as a group and how we can galvanise, I suppose, each other and, and together when, you know, it's, our momentum's not going the way we had hoped, that we can that we can find a way that a player or two has an impact moment that can that can drag everyone else along and, and we've been able to get over the line, which has been nice, but would, yeah, if it was up to me, I'd like to have it in a, in a nicer, easier fashion, but that's just the spirit of the game and, and that's what happens. How proud are you of the depth of the squad? Emma O'Driscoll came in and on a debut and took two massive marks towards the end of that game and then to have Evie coming back in and you know pushing other girls out that are actually in good form? Oh, definitely. It's, it's fantastic to see our young girls step up and, and we've had a, obviously a number of debutantes uh, this season and, and everyone's grabbed that opportunity with both hands and had impact straight away. Um, I think it's a credit to, I suppose, the environment and the culture that we've set over the last couple of years that has allowed those younger players to, to feel comfortable and to, to come right in and, and play their role for the club. So, yeah, we've got a really bright future ahead of us with a number of young players that continually, I suppose, improve each week and, and continually have an impact. Back at the Fortress too, I think you're running for an eighth straight win at Fremantle Oval. Looking forward to being back at home. Yeah, definitely. It's um, it's always nice to play in front of a home crowd that's um, almost 100%, you know, in purple. Uh, we love Fremantle Oval. We've obviously got a great track record, but we're not focused too much on that. We're focused on starting really strong and, and playing the way we know we can, which we probably haven't done so well in the last couple of weeks, and we really want to make a big impact this weekend. How do you stop someone like Lutkin to stand in defence? She's a bit of a different sort of defender in a way that she's more attacking probably than most. Yeah, she's a great player. She's a fantastic player, and it's proven over the last couple of years she's been really hard to stop. Um, I suppose I'll just leave that up to the coaches, and um, I'm sure Trent's got a few things up his sleeve, but no matter who gets the job or the whole entire forward line get the job, um, we know it's not a one one man show and um, there's a number of other great players that Brisbane have um, that will have impacts but again we've got a great list and, and we're really ready to show what we can do as a group. Do you see yourself as competition pace at the start of the season? It was a really successful season last year. You see I guess obviously under both teams undefeated this year but you guys are out in front giving all four wins. Oh I wouldn't say that we're pace setters. No I think um, you know it, it really Depends who rocks up on the day, to be honest. Um, we've seen great teams um, in Melbourne, you know, lose close encounters, um, you know, North Melbourne. So 
you know, we're really focused on uh, playing four quarters of footy and making sure that we can get the job done. Um, whatever the media wants to write about that um, in terms of pace setters or premiership favourites or all that, I'll leave that job up to you guys. But we're really focused on, yeah, getting the win this weekend, really setting up our second half of the season and, and look from there.